stick? Is that a stick? Uh -uh. What are we going to turn the stick into? Say armrests. Uh. Arm <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> 
So guys, we have finally come to the end of this video. Uh, this is of course a video that is much longer than uh, my normal videos. So for those of you who have persevered to the end, I am uh, very thankful for y'all. But I wanted to mention a few things that I just was not able to show in the video. Uh, you know, with filming, you just can't show every little thing or the videos would be you know, a week long. Um, but uh, this was a project that took actually a few months to do. And it was just one of those things that I kind of worked on during my spare time. But I wanted to go over a couple things that weren't real clear in the videos. On this drawer pool right here, it was uh, on, the, on the video, what you saw was me just gluing this to the front and then putting a couple of brad nails in the back. Well, I actually went back and put a couple of screws in the back, construction screws in the back of this to give that a little more uh, structural integrity there. Uh, I actually filmed that, but the footage got lost. It was a, it was a whole thing. Uh, also in these corner braces that are in this drawer here, I ended up going back and putting screws in that to attach the corner brace to the side and also to the front here. Uh, the reason for that was when I was pulling on this drawer, it took me a while to get this drawer shaped properly to fit right in this opening here. But, uh, I had to put some screws in this because when I would pull on this, this would pull away from uh, the side over here. So it was just not as strong as it needed to be. So I ended up going back and putting some screws in that and fix that problem. But uh, I did mention on the video, the finish that I used, I used a 50, 50 mix of paint thinner, mineral spirits, whatever, and, uh, and polyurethane for the very first coat. And that went really well. And then on the second coat, I started using straight poly but uh, then I went and I started thinning it down just a little bit and that made it going a little bit smoother. It's probably like 90% polyurethane and 10% paint thinner. And that went on pretty well. Uh, you saw me using that torch a lot. And what I was doing, I was just trying to get these little fibers off of the bark, unfortunately. Uh, the action of the paintbrush and also just sanding it and trying to finish it up. Those, uh, a lot of those came back out, but you know it's rustic and it, it'll be okay. But uh, that was it, guys. I really appreciate y'all watching this very, very long video. And I'm actually very pleased at the, at the way that this came out. Um, I'm very satisfied with it. Uh, oh, another thing that I was not able to show in the video, I actually took these slabs to the sawmill or at least one of these slabs to the sawmill and leveled it out. The other one was, thankfully it was flat enough. Uh, the original slabs that I started out using were actually book match slabs. And that was the plan originally to use book match slabs here so that the uh, grain, the figure in this one would match this one. But it ended up being the case that uh, this back one had so much heart rot, or it was the bottom one. One of, the, one of these two had so much heart rot in it that I was just not able to do that. And I had to just uh, find another slab and do what I could with it. But still, uh, it came out really nice, I think. And I think it's going um, to be a good piece. Um, this drawer, the drawer is fairly tight, but that's good. And uh, one of the biggest mistakes that I made here was I finished the inside of this and I, that was just a huge mistake on my part. I should have left it bare so that the cedar smell would be in the blankets or clothes or, or whatever uh, that they want to they wanna put in here. So that was a mistake on my part. You know, live and learn, I suppose. But overall, I'm very, very pleased with it. I was very concerned with a few things about it. I thought that that cover on the back of this drawer was gonna, was gonna look kind of goofy, but it ended up looking okay. Um, these armrests, and I would not advise anybody doing that trick I did with the, um, with the saw to split these in half, but these armrests right here just came off of a cedar tree behind the shop here. And I'm extremely pleased at the way these turned out. Uh, these came off a cedar tree behind the shop too. Um, those pine slabs were some slabs that I cut a few months ago, I guess. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> uh, it's been a long video. It's been a long project, but I think it was all, I think it was all really worth it. I'm very pleased at the way that it turned out. So anyway, thank y'all for watching this video and I will see y'all on the next one.